So I would hope by now that all you guys know about the Carolina Chasers tornado probe. If you don't, it's basically a camera probe that I made to get into storms like hurricanes and tornadoes to see what's inside and eventually we will be putting a wind meter, the Kestrel wind meter on there to also get some data. Now there's one major flaw about it. The winds kept on lifting up that dome that is meant to protect it from debris. So we had to fix that. After multiple attempts of duct tape and magnets, those didn't work, but then we tried a lock system and here's how it turned out. So I grabbed an army of leaf blowers, all these blow at around 60 miles per hour, and I told them all to go at different places, and here you go. And real quick as a reanalysis, you can see that little hinge just starts like bumping up and down, but that's sort of good as you don't want it to be stable, otherwise it might crack. In this next one, the leaf blowers are more close to the dome this time, and that dome is not the all-saving grace that's only there to protect the GoPro from the debris, as the GoPro costs a lot, that dome costs like $10. Now you might be wondering, how in the world is a lock keeping that down? Well, it's not a lock like what you're thinking, it's actually a window lock, as you can see in this video. The camera is facing forward, so you cannot see the lock on any GoPro video. If you're wondering what that smudge is on that side, that's from uh, the failed magnet attempt, but the camera doesn't see it as it's on the other side. It'll probably be quite difficult to get this thing into a tornado, and also it probably will not survive a significant tornado, which is EF2+, plus, as a EF2 tornado can slide and maybe even pick up some cars. I have pretty good confidence in this thing surviving an F0, as that takes down some tree branches, maybe snaps one or two trees, but it doesn't do that much damage, so it probably could survive an F0. The video you're seeing is from an F1 in Garner on December 10th, 2023. If you want to see that video, it's in the top right. But I assume this probe probably could survive it. The probe weighs around 30 pounds and it is pretty much flush to the ground on that concrete slab. Uh, so it probably would be able to survive this as it wasn't trash day, so I didn't see any trash cans that got lifted. Now once hurricane season starts up, we will have our merry time to deploy this thing. So I probably will get some like ground stakes that can uh support this thing to make sure it doesn't slide and once we do get those i'd say could probably survive definitely probably up to 100 mile per hour straight line winds hurricane damage is normally quite scattered so you can't really predict where we'll see the worst damage when with a tornado you know the worst damage will be wherever the funnel was that's really all for this video this is the last video on the weather probe but if you have any design tips for me that is greatly appreciated just drop them in the comment section so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next storm. Ah!